For this last section of C2, we're going to be looking at the electrolysis of brine. Now you might say, well, what on earth is brine? Well, brine is a concentrated sodium chloride solution. Okay, so basically it's a salt solution. Um, and um, the reason it's so important is because the European, we call it the chloralkali industry, produces around 10 million tonnes of chlorine every year. And to do this, it, it uses 36 billion kilowatt hours of electricity, uh, which is enough electricity for 7.5 million typical households. Now you might say to yourself, what are you going on about in terms of chlorine? Well, what you need to look at is sodium chloride, because it's joined, when it's joined it's chloride, when it's on its own it's chlorine. But sodium chloride is joined together with some water, that so makes the solution. And what we're doing is we are going to put that solution into um, a reactor where electrolysis is going to take place. And we are going to basically separate out the elements by passing an electric current through the solution. Um, now this is a brilliant little reaction uh, because like I say you can separate out, you've got sodium and chlorine that have gone in and hydrogen and oxygen have gone in because that's in the water. And what you're doing is you're taking them out separately um, in terms of chlorine and hydrogen however um, the sodium hydroxide or the sodiums and the oxygens that are left join together to make sodium hydroxide and they are left as a solution that comes out and you'll see at the bottom right hand corner um, of the reaction. Now all of these are useful substances and we need or we use all of them at one stage or another okay so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what actually happens so you'll see here you've got um, an anode and you've got a cathode okay at the anode this is the positive electrode you have the chlorine forming and this happens through the process of oxidation and this is where um, the electrons and you need to go back to uh, thinking about um, oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. I always try to think that, you know, if, if you're talking about reducing something, I always think that you've lost something. But when we're talking about reduction, it's the opposite. If we're reducing with reduction, uh, then it's the gaining of electrons. So oxidation is the opposite and that's the loss of electrons. So you can see here that your chlorine has lost two electrons to become Cl2 um, and your hydrogen has gained some electrons to become pure hydrogen. And as you'll see, the chlorine gas and the hydrogen gas go out of the top of the reaction and the sodium hydroxide stays and goes out of the bottom. Now, some of the uses of these products, okay, hydrogen is actually used to make margarine and um, sodium hydroxide uh, used to make soap, also can be used in cleaning products, uh, chlorine used to sterilise water, um, and chlorine is the thing that you can smell in swimming pools, that really strong smell, um, also used to make uh, solvents and some plastics. Okay, um, as I said, the sodium ions and the hydroxide ions are not discharged. They remain in the solution to make sodium hydroxide solution uh, that is taken out. Now there is a test you can do for chlorine because if you remember back to the topic C4, um, you need to know that chlorine is like a, a green gas. Um, but there is a little test you can do and what you do is you get a bit of um, some moist blue litmus paper um, and you actually put it into the uh, chlorine and it will actually uh, bleach it uh, and it will go red and then it will go white. While we're on the subject of tests, hydrogen gas. 
Hydrogen is a light gas that will float away because it is less dense and so in order to test for hydrogen gas if you remember you turn your test tube upside down to collect the gas you light a splint you put it into the gas and it will make a squeaky pop because it will have exploded because hydrogen gas is highly explosive okay um, and here you can just see um, some of the places where a salt can be obtained from now I just want to reiterate electrolysis in this particular in incident you will only be asked this reaction so if you don't understand it then please try to at least explain what's going on at the anode that it's a positive electrode and that that's where the oxidation takes place at the cathode that's where the reduction takes place you may want to remember k for cathode in the reduction so that might help you to remember cathode reduction Shen. that might just be a little way to remember uh, another one I've just noticed is anode oxidation so there's an A in ation and an A on anode thank you